guys ooh you like my setup my lovely lovely kitchen <laughs> right guys so today is the day I'm going to be doing and um, the posh dogs from Marks and Spencer's so I'll get them out the fridge well know how yesterday I done my quesadilla video and I wasn't sure I was going to make for those for tea any case when the see when they seen the um, posh dogs I said oh can we have those tonight so them actually had theirs last night so I've kept them for me to make the day while everyone's at work and the house is empty because obviously I wasn't hungry last night Um, so I've kept mine for today but those had theirs yesterday and they thoroughly enjoyed them they thought they were beautiful but I have not tasted them yet so I'll get mine out the fridge now Right then, so here they are. I've saved three for me, but I think I might just have two because I'm also going to be cooking the lovely onion rings. I didn't give them these because these are mine. <laughs> so these are for me and I'm just going to have two posh dogs. I was going to do some sweet potato fries, but I think that's well enough because they, they look very fat, nice and thick. So first of all, I'm going to put the dogs in. It says you can either fry or grill, but I'm just going to oven mine. So I've got an oven tray here. I'm just going to put them on the oven tray. This is how I done theirs last night and they still turned out lovely. There you go. Simple as that. Two posh dogs on an oven tray. Right, we'll stick it in the oven now, guys. In my lovely posh new oven. <laughs> Yeah. 
pan the oven on. I put it at um, just past uh, 150 and I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. Right, so that's those in for 20 minutes, guys. I'll put this one back in the fridge. So, I'm going to show you how I do deep fry my onion rings. I'll just get one of my normal pan. Just this one's big enough, guys. Still not used to them up here. That's the first one. Yeah, you can see it's heating up. So warm that pan up. And what I do is when I cook um, onion rings, obviously it like flavours the oil straight away. So I only I have like a Tupperware tub with onion ring oil in my fridge because I very rarely make them. So it's pointless just using the pan of oil to like bin straight away. So I keep that uh, tuck away tub in my fridge until the next time I cook my onion rings. I'll get it for you. This is it here. I'm going to pour this into that pan and let it heat up. I think this is the last time I'll be using this oil. I think I've used it three times now. But it saves them um, bin in it and putting you in all the time. I might need to actually top that up. We'll see. Put this in my sink. Right, so I think I'm just going to top it up a little bit with more oil. So it's just vegetable oil, guys. Halfway full. Right, and so I'm going to let that heat up till it's nice and um, really hot, and then these will just fry straight away. If you put them in when it's too um, like not hot enough, it like just not do anything and they'll probably stay soggy. Okay, look at them, don't them look lush? Yummy. Oh, it looks like lovely light, like tempura butter. Just gonna place the nice shaped ones here. Very delicate. Um, I'll just fry those off. Right then, so we're just waiting for the oil to heat up, guys. I've just realised you can actually like pause your washer. I've always knew it said like start and pause, but I've never actually paused my washer before. There's been loads of times I've been trying to do a video and my washer's been going crazy. <laughs> so I've just paused it. So no washer noises. I know now for the future, guys. Right, this is starting to bubble. You can test oil by um, getting a... Right, I use a wooden spoon or you can um, use like a, what they call, skewer thing. And if the if bubbles form around the wooden spoon, then it's ready to... Not quite yet, guys. Right, I'm just going to put them in. Yeah, that looks like it's alright now. There you are. Get some bubbles now, guys. You know, he died there. Perfect amount for that little pan. Now we're just waiting for them to crisp up. Look 
they've like all like stuck together. I bet they still taste lovely though. Take them out. See what I mean? They've like clumped together. Turn that off. They do still look nice, but. Turn that off now. Move it to that one. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. So that's them there, guys. They do look lovely, but obviously the um, batter, they've like clumped together and the batter's like half fallen off, but I'm gonna use them. Don't need me backups. Right, they're done. Hashtag's done, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Don't drop them. Right then. So let's load these bad boys up. Got some nice brioche hot dog buns on Aldi. We'll get two out. Be lucky if they even fit inside these guys. <laughs> Should have got sub buns that that thick. Right. Anyway, so. Get a fork, I'll just use the There you go guys. Seeing how thick they are. <laughs> oh actually sorry, I'm gonna put some mustard on my bun first. So my toppings, I've got mayonnaise, tomato sauce. Red jalapenos are gorgeous. Mustard. Crispy onions. Right, I'm going to go put mustard on the buns. I now buy as well, not just because what I said yesterday, but I have been for a good few months now, buy the lighter versions of everything. Because it's amazing the difference from light mayonnaise to full fat mayonnaise. Massive difference guys, so little things. There you have it guys. Posh dogs and onion rings. See you in a second. You guys I could cry. I really could cry. This is how much I've got left. The bloody record button again. Eh, honestly. I could have sworn it went red. Yeah, I'm foaming. I'm really, really angry. All that effort going up and buying these, doing the vlog of cooking them and vlogging going up for them and on the actual meal, I mess up. It really, really annoys you this, like, I'm really sick of doing it. I know you'll be thinking, simple thing, make sure everything's on before you start. And I did, I went like that and I pressed it. And I've, I'm sure I've seen it go red. In any case, th these onion rings, they were beautiful, but um, 
most of the onions had fell out so it was basically just crispy batter these are absolutely fantastic I actually after cooking them and everything put this on as well yeah I'm absolutely livid really really livid I'm so sorry Dean because I feel like I've robbed you of a video anyways you've seen everything I put on this is literally the last few bites of my second hot dog and I've ate all my onion rings oh my god I feel even worse because this was especially for you this was ranch dressing from uh, Asda Newman's ranch lovely in the onion with the onion rings like you haven't got me reaction and everything to tasting them for the first time but I can tell you guys they're absolutely gorgeous he's right when he says they're not like a it's not a hot dog and it's not a sausage it's just got it's so juicy really fat juicy sausage it's got a lovely smoky flavor to it and especially with everything on top it was just amazing I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed them sitting talking away <sighs> Yeah, I really do apologise for this, guys. I'm sick of doing it. It really annoys you when you put, like, effort in as well, like, recording different things and getting excited to try something new. Especially when someone's basically paid for you to have it. Uh, but, yeah, fantastic. They are. I'm really glad you uh, suggested us getting them. Beautiful they are. I'm sure someone plays with me in this house because I'm absolute positive I've seen the red recording sign. Now all you're getting is a paid off Heather when I was in awe before of how delicious these were. Also just had ice water today. Hmm. Dean those were fantastic like thank you so much English Eats. Guys I'm gonna um Put a link of his youtube channel in the uh, description box below if you don't already follow him a lot you already know about him um go and check his channel out he's he paid for this and i can't believe the record's not recording yeah english eats aka dean thank you so much I was just busy telling you as well about um, what we've done last night. Do you know how it's going on about the harvest moon? Well, it was meant to be from 7.45. <clears throat> so I thought, right, I'm going to change the sofa around outside. Um, I took my rug out, put a rug like where the sofa is, put a few little lights, like tea lights around, got my throws out and put them on the sofa outside. Um, I gave everyone like, well, it was only me, Kenny, and the two little ones um <clears throat> what you have to do is you can look it up yourselves but it's um this ritual for harvest moon the first moon full moon in autumn is apparently apparently very um powerful and you just ask for dream big ask for like just this is what we've done anyway we uh, held a candle up to the sun because the sun was just going down and you have to like <clears throat> just think what you want to achieve, what you want to receive, what you want to leave behind. Just think about it. Ask, um, just say all these things in your head. Vision for as long as you want. Ask for what you want. I mean, dream big, guys. 
Um, and then once you've done that, you then write it all down on paper. And then once you've wrote it all down, you vision yourself as you're writing it down, vision yourself actually receiving these things, how you how you feel, how you would feel if you're going to receive them. And then once you've wrote everything down, fold it up very tightly, get the candle wax, seal it. And um, after that, you're supposed to put it somewhere where you're going to see it every day, like the folded up bit of paper. And I'll just like touch it and like see, like, pray that it like happens or the things come true you know what I mean so it's in I've put it on my mirror over there so that's what we've done last night guys um and when we finally could see the moon it was a very low moon um but it was absolutely huge it was huge it wasn't high like usually you can see the moon above the houses opposite were but we had to like go like look in between each house and that's where you could see it, it was absolutely massive beautiful orange color so it like felt magical as well and we just sat outside for oh a good few hours and I was just chilling and I was just constantly going over everything in my head, what I had put on the paper and like really believing like one day we will be blessed. Um, So yeah that's what we done last night, I put a few pictures on at the end of this. Oh god I'm really really good about this guys, it's so annoying. That lovely meal and all you've got to see was the end. Couple of bites. Can't do now about it. <coughs> Happens. I should have put that in my um, list. Don't let us forget to press record again. <laughs> but like I say, I'm positive I did. I'm positive I did. <coughs> I better not dwell on it too much because I'm going to be in a mood all day now. Well, guys, Dean, sorry and thank you at the same time. I'm going to go drown me sorrows. <laughs> right, that snap out of it. Nothing can be done about it. So if you liked the video, guys, I hope you did. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. Don't forget to go and check out Dean's channel and my ASMR channel. The link for both of them are in the description below. Thanks everyone and thanks again Dean.